Today, we removed the factory Bowden couplers and PTFE tubing that came on the Ender 3 V2, and we installed the TH3D tough tubing and the Bowden couplers with the metal teeth. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So I've done a couple videos on these before, but this is the first one with the Ender 3 V2. And some people were asking how to do it because it's a little bit harder to get to the hot end now that this shroud is different. It only takes about five minutes to do, and it's a super easy, awesome upgrade for your Ender 3 V2. The reason why we're gonna do this is that the TH3D tough tube has a much better tolerance than the factory white PTFE tubing that comes on the Ender 3 V2. The filament goes through it very good, and I tell you what, this stuff is awesome. The other thing we're gonna replace is the couplers on both sides. The reason we're gonna do that is because the ones that come from TH3D actually have metal teeth in them to hold your PTFE tube in place. You'll notice sometimes that on the factory couplers, the PTFE tubing will start turning or actually pop out. And when it does this, you can get extrusion issues and you can throw a whole print off because your filament could just start coiling out from the extruder if the extruder side just pops out. You can get everything in a kit from TH3D, including the uh, cutter for the PTFE tubing, which I highly suggest and you can knock all of this out in about five minutes. Let's do it. So the first thing you can do uh, is pull the little C-clip that came with the printer. And this is the same whether you have the update extruder or the plastic extruder that came with the kit. Grab the wrench that came with the kit and just give it one loose in there. Take your Bowden tube out and remove the Bowden coupler from the existing extruder. Then you wanna grab the Bowden coupler with the smaller threads here and screw that right into the extruder. Grab your wrench and tighten it about a half a turn past hand tight so it's nice and tight in there. Now from the back of the hot end here, you wanna remove these two screws because we need to take the housing off. So grab your Allen wrench and remove these two screws here. Keep in mind when you're putting them back in that the shorter screw goes on the left side if you're looking at the back. So shorter screw, longer screw, that's how I took them out. Now I turn the printer around and you see the front of the hot end where your fans are and your wiring and your tubing comes in. Now very carefully kind of pull it out a little bit and slide it this way. And that would be off into the right side of your hot end. That will expose the Bowden coupler right here that we need to get to. Now we turn our printer on we go to control temperature, nozzle temperature, and turn that up to 230 degrees. Once your hot end is at temp, be very careful because it's gonna be super hot. Take the wrench that came with the kit, hold the top here, loosen that Bowden coupler just like this. Uh, you can use your hands at this point and you can take it all the way out and loose if it comes loose. It might move around a little bit, but that's okay. Just be very careful that you don't touch anywhere near your hot end because it's gonna be very, very hot. At this point, you can pull your Bowden tube out like this, and we're out of the hot end now. With the Bowden tube out of the hot end, I like to just pull my tube back through the included zip ties that are in here, so you don't have to cut those yet. Now we work on getting a new piece of tubing for your printer. This is pretty simple. It doesn't have to be identical exact, but pretty dang close. Take the new one, take the cutter that came with your kit, and stick your tube in here so it's flat and flush. Then cut just a little bit off and you don't have to cut this much off but maybe just the end because you want to make sure you have a perfectly straight end on your PTFE tubing. Put that together like this and we match the length of the tubing with the new blue tough tube. So you can see there's the full length of the tubing and if you pull it tight it's somewhere right about here. And it's again doesn't have to be exact just pretty close. So I'm going to take this area right here I'm going to set the uh, TH3D cutter like this down on the table and I'm going to make sure we're flush and straight and this just cuts it straight off like that. Now if you do something wrong, one meter is enough for two to three of these tubes. So this was one meter of, of the TH3D tough tubing and it will be enough for probably two to three of these cuts. In this case, this is our new piece here. Both ends are completely flush. That's what we wanna make sure. And now it's time to reinstall this. To reinstall, we grab the coupler that came with the kit with the larger threads, and we just 
start screwing that down into your hot end. And what I'm gonna do is screw it down so it's just finger tight. Then I'm gonna back it out about one turn. And there's a reason why we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you now. We take our new cut PTFE tubing, the tough tube. We push it all the way down into that hot end as far as it will go. We wanna take our wrench that came with the kit and remember, this is still really hot. 230 degrees is what we heated it to. And you're gonna tighten this down. What that's gonna do is take this PTFE tubing that we pushed all the way down and secure it down into the nozzle so it's not gonna come back up. At this point, we'll do a kind of a cool trick that I learned um, where I can actually take the PTFE tubing and push it back through the uh, zip ties that came with the Ender 3 V2. And it goes in the first one and it'll do the same in the back one. It just slides right underneath there. This way you don't have to burn any other zip ties if you don't have any, um, and everything goes back in clean and nice. From there, you just take your PTFE tubing and push it into the new coupler. It's very hard, make sure it's very straight, um, and it's all the way in there. Give it a good yank, make sure it doesn't come back out. Now we have the PTFE tubing and the new couplers in. You can cool down your hot end now, and it's time to put the fan shroud back on. On the screen, scroll over to prepare and down to cool down and press the button. That will start the cool down process on your hot end. So when we're putting this back together, um, on the back of this plastic, you'll, know, you'll notice a couple little black tabs. They actually slide behind the back of the metal here. And then this tab, actually goes into this slot right there. So when you put this back together, um, you kind of start on one side here. Make sure that this side is clipped in so it kind of hinges. And then this side will pop in with a little clip. Once you're good, it'll be flush against here. Now what we need to do is replace the two screws that were in the back. So we're looking at the back of the printer now. Um, we have everything clipped in and it's nicely pressed against here. Uh, it's flush. Take your small screw and you go in on the left side and make sure that the housing gets secure there. Then we're gonna take the longer screw that came out and it's gonna go in over here. At this point, we got both screws in and you're good to go. So there you have it. We successfully replaced the white PTFE tubing that came from the factory and the old Bowden couplers on the Ender 3 V2. It was super quick and super easy and this is a very cost-effective upgrade for your printer. It only takes about five minutes once you've done it once or twice. And the only tools you needed for this upgrade were the Allen wrench that came with the kit and the wrench that came with the kit. I believe there's better performance with the TH3D tough tubing and those couplers with the metal teeth. Don't let the Bowden tube or the PTFE tubing go nearly as often as the ones with the plastic teeth. Not to mention it's blue and it matches the extruder wheel that came from Creality. Well, I hope you learned something today and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button right here if you haven't already done that. And the little bell if you wanna be notified anytime we go live on Mondays for Hot Makes or for any other video that gets released on this channel. Check out the Ender 3 V2 playlist right here.